William John Chandler. He was born in London, Ontario, a free man, a free black man. And he left London, Ontario and signed up in Pennsylvania to fight in the Civil War. More information to come, but he may have even fought at Gettysburg. But he did fight in Florida, where he fought in a battle where he was injured to the point where his arm had to be amputated. He somehow healed from that, but only made it back as far as Fort Erie because he met his lovely bride, Lavinia Taylor. She took in laundry. He ended up being a, what they called a taxi driver, horse and buggy at the time. And um, my mother was actually born in their home. I don't think... Um, William John's life was all that great. I just get that feeling and impression that his life wasn't all that wonderful. Certainly his Civil War participation wasn't tr really recognized. Um, these men that fought in the military for this country and for the North America, like that's incredible. A, a continent that really didn't care that much about them, that they had been enslaved in and they fought for it. They fought for it. That just, to me, is just mind-boggling. You know, just mind-boggling to think a country or a continent that didn't appreciate them as human beings and put them through so much, they would then turn around and fight for it. I'm so proud. So proud. <laughs>